Order! 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 You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Junior doctors in England are angry at planned changes to their contracts. It'll mean their so-called normal working hours, which have been 7 till 7, Monday to Friday, now go from 7 until 10, Monday to Saturday. That means many junior doctors who work evenings and weekends won't get overtime, and that's money they say they have relied upon to shore up basic earnings. Well, the government says it wants to provide a seven-day NHS and that it's modernising doctors' contracts, that they're not being asked to work longer and they're not cutting their wages. The Doctors' Union, the British Medical Association, disagrees and is threatening industrial action. Should they be allowed to and would you support them? We're going to discuss that in a moment. First though, Tommy went to Manchester, home of one of England's biggest teaching hospitals, to see what people there thought. Just give you a little, little check up to make sure you're all right. Uh -huh. uh, you sound great. Still you, you sound, yeah. <laughs> Do you trust me as your doctor? I don't think so. Your stethoscope is fake. <laughs> How dare you? Do you trust your doctor? Yes. Yeah? You have a good relationship with your doctor? We have a very good relationship. And how would you feel if your doctor was on strike? Well, I'll go another day. I'd be disgusted. If I was in the same shoes as them, I'd probably do it as well. What if it was really important? If it was that important, I'd go to the hospital. Do doctors have a right to strike? Of course they do. Like, everyone has their own rights. So, and to be fair, like, I do think they need to be paid more. No, I think they earn a lot of money already. I think GPs are on £110,000 a year. Well, doctors are humans too. You can't expect doctors to work more just because they're saving lives or doing something important. For them to strike to get more money is not the way forward. They've got a responsibility. If they're working for the NHS, then absolutely not. I don't think they should be on strike, especially if it's like because their patients need them. You can't say when you're going to be ill, can you? What about the patients that they're letting down? Well, it's a, a long-term benefit for the patients, actually, to have the, the doctors uh, satisfied with their working conditions. If you need to go on a strike to get more money, which you do deserve at the end of the day, then I think it's right. But at the, at the same time, you need to look at who it affects. They're making a lot of the out-of-hours work regular hours, so they don't get extra money for that. If you're putting in more hours, then you should get more money. But Anyone would... They get paid enough, don't they? They get paid more than a pension, that's for sure. Isn't it? They get paid more than a pensioner, that's for sure. <laughs> Our question, is it wrong for doctors to strike? What are your thoughts at home? Do email, text, call or use social media to get in touch with us this morning. Uh, joining us from our newsroom studio in London is Dr Ranj Singh, who is a junior doctor and has been since 2003. Morning to you, Ranj. Thanks for joining us. Morning. Uh, we're going to be with you in a sec. Just want to start in the studio uh, first and, and talk to Angela. The most important, one of the most important professions in Britain junior doctors, uh, why are we changing their contracts and, and their working hours and I mean, I think, lose money? Well, the thing is, I think strike, it's entirely immoral for doctors to even consider striking. I mean, it, it makes the public, the public become, it's a form of emotional blackmail. We become a captive audience, as one of your contributors said there, people don't know when they're going to be ill. My son's a medical student, believe me, I would be horrified to sit back and, and watch him having to sort of, you know, kill himself over the hours that he has to work. But the fact is the, Hippocrat the Hippocratic Oath says do no harm. It is a vocation. It is not something that can be um, replicated in other professions. The police aren't allowed to strike. And I'm afraid it's, um, it's part of a, what, the, what the vocation and profession entails. Yasmin, should doctors be allowed to strike? Yes. And I think how far do we go with this? So if governments decide tomorrow they're going to halve the money they get, mm. would they not be entitled to strike? They have to live. It is a profession and I think, like the firefighters, you know, when the firefighters struck, is that the right word? Striked? Went struck, on strike. Went on strike. Um, they did it so that lives were not endangered. There are ways the public service, but this blackmailing that, that you talk about is actually the government blackmailing those in public <laughs> service. Nobody's saying there'll be no doctor on call, but you can't treat young people who are going into this essential profession as many of us get older to just take whatever conditions Well, let's given. hear from our junior doctor, uh, talk to Dr Ranj Singh from our newsroom studio. Would you consider going on strike, Ranj, and if so, why? 
I think let's put this into perspective first of all. Um, strikes within the NHS are very, very uncommon. The only reason it is even approached as a subject is because all other channels of negotiation have broken down. Now, we talk about blackmail. Well, you can consider what the government is threatening to impose on junior doctors in August 2016. That could be classed as blackmail. We are an inherently caring profession. We do everything we can for our patients. We go in early, we stay in late, we do extra hours without getting paid. The the only reason we strike is because there is something even more dangerous around the corner and if we don't shout about it now because nobody is listening so far if our back is up against the wall and we have to strike for the good of our patients then it is our moral okay. duty to do so can I ask why it would why it would be for the best of the patients if you do take industrial action well the, the, they'll have to wait longer for operations they won't be treated as quickly well the exact if, if you look at the exact terms of the strike they haven't even been uh, thought about or thought through or decided at all so this is something that is actually being considered now the junior doctors contract the new contract that is threatened to be imposed potentially puts patients at risk it makes How? doctors work well it, uh, by changing the definition of social hours from currently we get a basic salary from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday to Friday mm -hmm. and our on-call hours are supplemented according to how many out of hours shifts uh, how, how many out of hours that you do so in other so, words you get overtime if you go beyond the seven yeah. Seven till seven, you go. And what the government is saying is, you're not going to be paid that overtime anymore because we want a seven day NHS. That means you're required to work weekends. Right. Well, the NHS is already seven days. We offer a sev 24 hour, seven day a week service. What governments say when it isn't seven day NHS is actually incorrect, it's misleading, and it's dangerous. So okay, we work, how? our basic salary is calculated on a 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. basis. They want to extend that out, those yep. normal office hours from 7 till 10, Monday to Saturday. Okay. Okay. And I don't think that's entirely fair unless you sit down and actually think, well, what are the implications of this going to be? And that's why we're shouting, because we think it's going to be unfair. And particularly, especially, it's not about money. This is going to be unsafe for right, patients. Right, okay. Right. So, Louise, I'd it's unfair to... and it's unsafe. Well, uh, first of all, I do believe doctors have the right to strike. But what we've just heard is interesting because he said it was unsafe for patients. And yet wh what he is describing is exactly the same amount of hours, but the pay is calculated differently. So I frankly fail to see. You can say it's unfair. Fine, you can make your argument. You cannot really say that impacts on patient safety. It's the identical amount of hours. So it's about the, the money. The pay basis is being changed. Maybe Dr. Singh can explain to me why if, do if hours aren't being extended but he would have worked that on, on overtime that impacts patient safety. I don't see the logic. Yes, can you I answer can, that? Absolutely. Now, the, the, uh, the way that pay is calculated is one point out of something like 24 or 25 within that contract. The other issues in that contract are, for example, taking away a, a hospital's obligation to monitor a junior doctor's hours. Therefore, you could be made to pay to work longer and therefore become more tired, become more unsafe and therefore offer your patients a worse service. We do not want that. Even, we want even though the sure. government is saying you're not going to be required to work any more hours uh, we've than heard you do that before. We've okay. heard that before, right. and we know in reality doctors actually do work more. If you look at the mo over over the last ten days, a small fraction of doctors have logged the extra unpaid hours that they do. That has amounted in ten days for a tiny proportion of doctors to three hundred thousand pounds. You cannot say that we do not do over our hours. We do. Okay. What do strikes, Derek? achieve what would industrial action and we know the terms haven't well, been first said yet, say, of course it's about money of course it's about money it's about money that's the reason why the government are bringing this out because it is about money and they want to save money and they don't respect the United National Health Service in the way that they should that uh, what will a strike bring what does a strike ever bring no I don't believe that junior doctor anybody else fireman or anyone you know wake up one morning and say I'll tell you what it'd be a good idea if we strike today it happens as a, after months if not years and years of negotiations talk being battered down and being battered down and being battered down and eventually, they say, hang on a minute, enough is enough. And you can never take the right to strike away from anybody. I know the governments are trying to do it at the moment with their reorganisation, but at the end of the day, you can't take that away from people because it is all they've got left, Sean. But, they've but got it's the patients, to, it's the no patients who will be worried here. And some of them might be saying, it, you know, it costs the government half a million pounds to train a, to train a, a doctor. I you know, do, show, yeah, but last, last, surely, last, surely last, they, they should have last, some loyalty last year, towards it's the it's NHS some, it's, and the patients. It's the way we respect the NHS and looking after our, 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 ourselves, our 
our kids, our mums and dads, yeah. our babies, or whoever. The reality is that last year, over 2,000 bankers got paid £750 million. Nobody... £750,000. <laughs> oh, no, okay, I'll tell you why, because not one single complaint from the government. Managing money is more important than managing people's right. health. And, managing and, people's health can actually go by the wayside, and you can okay. take junior and doctors. Ranch, I'm sorry, the junior just doctors have every right to strike. Ranch, just to um, qualify those figures, half a million pounds to train a GP, 300,000 for a junior doctor. Uh, those, the basis of those figures is actually inaccurate. Okay. When you actually do the sums properly and look at the math, it's about £100,000 to train a junior doctor to consultant level. Um, and remember, we also work extremely hard. We pay taxes as well. We train oh, ourselves. Yes, we pay our own fees. We pay for exams. We pay for insurance. This isn't just money that is being thrown at us. We do give back as well. And, we and you have student loans that. to pay back. Okay. Absolutely. Why, Angela? Why? why? Do you have stacked, <laughs> uh, Dr. Singh directly, but why should these professions have some kind of statutory immunity? If I worked in any, uh, any job that wasn't within the public sector and I said, I'm not coming in on Wednesday, I'm downing tools because I don't like the way things work here, I'd be either given notice or I'd be asked to leave. Okay, but, okay. But, but, you know, we, you have this kind of statutory immunity and I think it's entirely morally repugnant yeah. that what? doctors of all people what statutory should, immunity? should hang on, let that. Ranch that. Let that? Let Ranch, yeah. Hang on, Derek. I'm let sorry. Ranch to strike without losing Angela, let Ranj answer your yeah, point. No, Morally nice. repugnant. So. I think uh, a very important point. We do not have an immunity. We are not asking for pay rises. We are not asking for special treatment. What we are asking is trust us. Look, we are saying that this is going to be unsafe and this is going to be unfair. We want what's best for our patients. We are not asking for pay rises. We are not demanding special treatment. What are we just? What, what we are saying is please, please, please look at the work we are doing. Look at the work that the NHS as a whole are doing and what the people that inherently make that service so fantastic okay. are doing and respect and at least recognize that respect I want to say that uh, I'm afraid that you know I, I came into this relatively neutral saying doctors have the right to strike as long as it doesn't impact patient safety I think they'll be making a huge um, mistake in terms of public relations if they do so because the public will not support them well 95 and, and percent we in a recent so poll suggested they and that was and that them. well that was before Jeremy Hunt made significant concessions that they would not be allowed made to work under safe hours. Now, I don't think the public are going to trust the doctors. But they do. When they, excuse me, sure. let me finish. It's my turn to say something and be allowed to finish. <laughs> the public are not going to trust doctors when we have just heard a repeated allegation that quote-unquote patient safety is going to be impacted because hours are changed. The pay basis is changed. Just the it's pay basis is changed. Pay. Excuse it's me. not on Saturday the basis of pay. Saturday and Sunday yeah. okay. is the doctors now won't over... Back and All right. Saturday and Sunday is no, overtime hours, but people We've get been sick talking on about Saturday and Sunday. About they get point. sick at Weekend. We've been talking Why about what the, the can, can I just ask you to hold for a second mm. because we've been talking about the public giving you support and Louise you're saying no they're not let's find out what you at home are saying Tommy yes right Sean a uh, lot of people feeling very strongly about this some say it's selfish to strike but Lee actually agreeing with Dr Ranch saying doctors are not slaves uh, yet they uh, get horrendous hours with immense responsibilities and all that stress as well and with public and politicians just treating them as if they're resources rather than real people Debs saying more and more are leaving the UK for better money and better conditions elsewhere. Mm. And if we want the best, then we have to be prepared to pay for it over here. Uh, Peter saying doctors have to finally accept that they are employees and that 24-7 shift patterns in their industry is just a fact of life. Ian saying no, no one in the medical profession should strike. It's about lives. They should negotiate for as long as it takes. Yeah. And Colm on email saying, of course they should be entitled to withhold labour. These are very important people and they should be paid for it accordingly. John. All right, a couple of points there I want to pick up. Um, almost 3,500 NHS doctors have started the process of moving abroad to work since ministers decided to impose this new working contract on uh, trainee medics, uh, apparently. So do we really want to see, Angela... People like your son Me might decide that rather than working in an environment where he feels unhappy and his contract is changing, and they get three He'd times like, as much in like Australia, like don't And I have no idea, well, I have no idea what his personal plans are. He's only into his third year. But the fact is that I remember going, when he was going off to interviews, the places for medical school were still hugely oversubscribed. There is still an enormous mm -hmm. amount of young people who wish to go into medicine. Now, as, as one of the uh, contributors said there, you go into medicine sort of understanding what's going to be involved. You know, you have to do a huge amount of work experience just to apply and just to fill in the UCAS form. You don't go in with some kind of blind romantic idea that it's 
it's all about Dr Kildare and running around in a white coat sort of saving lives and being terribly So heroic. it's vocational and therefore the money it doesn't is, matter? It's A, it's vocational, B, it's about saving people's lives all right. and C, we are a captive audience. Yasmin, we, we haven't we heard... Have no, nothing. I, the army can't come in I want to hear some more from, from Yasmin the because go on strike. we know about the problems in the NHS and the health regulator monitors say the problems in the NHS are the worst for a generation. Trusts in England have racked up a £930 million deficit in three months. I mean, the point is that high wages are not no, affordable. No, th that deficit comes exactly out of us not having the staff that we need and the, the National Health Service having to employ um, um, staff from agencies. Agency staff cost twice as much as um, those who work within the but national don't all Zen. contracts have to now be looked at with but the no, NHS they, what, in such what a we're crisis? Getting is they look a, a, a brain they drain, a and you know, I think it's fantastic that people work in the public health service. My daughter's just joined the national health service. She could have had a job in the private sector just like that because she's a medical engineer. She chose. She chose to go and work in the health service, but she, you know, she doesn't expect to not be valued in terms of how much That's money she gets. Okay. She has to be valued. Hmm. Ranch, can I, I, and you're saying yes completely, but what yeah. would you do if you have to sign this contract and you have been a junior doctor since 2003 and you work in a, in a children's hospital and you do very good work, what will you decide to do? Well, I'm, I'm hoping that we are going to come to some sort of agreement here with the government. These are negotiations that we have not, we're not saying we don't want to negotiate. We're not saying that the contract shouldn't be negotiated. We're not saying that we're all going to walk out en masse. In fact, that is not going to happen. Patients should not worry about the care that they're going to receive. Like so I what said, industrial the action would any, you like to see? The terms see? of any strike have not been decided okay, yet. Okay, but what okay, would but you do, Ranj? That's my point. In terms of industrial action, what do you think would be sufficient to make your point and not compromise? patient safety well I, I, I can't decide that myself as a lone individual within a massive service I cannot do that this would be something that would be put out to vote to a lot of people but what I will say is that people should not worry if doctors do strike it's only because they've been made to we do not want to strike we want to do what is best for our patients and that doesn't mean sitting there and just accepting anything that the government throw at us when we have good reason to believe that that would not be fair and that would not be safe and yes I will say that again that will not be safe no matter how many arguments you use if you pummel this profession into submission they it, you are not going to get the best out of them all I'm right. afraid okay ranch thank you very much thank you all here as well for that and thanks for your comments at home too he's going to get it i've been getting away with it all my